you guys want to see some gravity? No, that was bullshit. I just used my hands. Anyways, hey you guys, I'm 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here to review Gravity, starring Sandra Bullock and George Clooney, and Ed Harris, who has a voice role as the commissioner in this film. Gravity is one of my anticipated films of the year, and the plot to this film is that Sandra Bullock, she's been in this astronaut program for six months. George Clooney, it's his last mission before he retires. And George Clooney is just guiding Sandra Bullock through the mission. Something horrible goes wrong. Sandra Bullock gets stuck in space with no way out. They have to sur She has to survive in space. And that's all I'm going to give you guys. Because the plot I just told you was literally only the plot for the first 20 minutes of the movie. That actually surprised me. I actually thought that was going to be the main part of Gravity. Just Sandra Bullock being stuck in space for 90 minutes long. But no, it's not like that. It was only like that for the first 20 minutes. After that, the movie isn't really what you expected. And that's a good thing. So I'm not going to spoil anything more for you guys. Because I want you guys to have a full experience when you go into this film. Gravity, as I just said, is it's one of my anticipated films of the year. I couldn't wait to see this film. It looks so great. I really like Sandra Bullock. George Clooney is awesome. After seeing Gravity, I gotta say, it's a really good movie. Like, wow, Gravity is such a really good film. I thought it was just so outstanding. The performances by Sandra Bullock and George Clooney are just fantastic. I really cannot pick... Whose performance is better? First of all, it's not fair in my opinion. And both of them overall just did very well. Sandra Bullock is the main star of the film. While George Clooney is just a supporting character. But the two of them, they did such a great job. I love George Clooney as this astronaut who is retiring. I love how he's just always positive. He loves the look of space. He loves the view. He loves looking at the Earth. I love how he's just flying around in space. The guy is just funny, and he's he's happy. You could tell he loves his job, and he'll actually listen to music while he's up in space. So I actually love his character. His character was highly enjoyable. Sandra Bullock, she's been going through a difficult time. You hear her backstory and, which was pretty sad, by the way. But she's new to the whole program. She's only been working for six months. Sandra Bullock, this is one of the best performances she has ever given. You want to see her character get out of the situation. You want to see her character go back home. Alfonso Coron has done such a brilliant job directing Gravity. Oh my gosh. The visual effects in this film looked phenomenal like really it looked like they were in space and as you are watching the film and being immersed by it you do feel like you are actually in space it just looks so beautiful it's just amazing what they did i i know i'm sure they took a lot of time with the film because wow the work the it really paid off and I'm sure they used a lot of technology to really make space in this film just look so realistic and just, oh, it's magnificent. This film has one of the best visuals I've seen this year. And I hope it gets nominated for best visuals at the Oscars because it would deserve to get nominated at least for that category and maybe even possibly win it. The storyline to Gravity, yeah, it's simple. I will give it that. But I just thought how the storyline was written, it was unexpected. There are some very thrilling moments in this film that have me going, oh my gosh, when there's a lot of crashing going on in space and the shuttle getting ruined. Plus, along with the few disturbing images this movie brought, oh man, but it was Wow, I cannot believe my eyes at some of the thrilling moments that were just popping right at you. It was just 
incredible. I just thought this movie was clever. It's original. It's just really well done. It's written so well. It's directed so well. Alfonso Cuaron and his son working on this film together, I think it was very nice. As you were looking at George Clooney and Sandra Bullock's characters on screen, you could tell that the two of them had a blast just making this film. You could tell they just loved the script for Gravity and just how realistic space looks, the thrilling moments, how everything is done, the shots. Oh, and the camera angles in this film is just freaking fantastic. The, the way the camera just spins around, and like literally the first 10 minutes without a single cut, how it's just the camera moving around. I just love that. This film is well edited and it was just, I could not take my eyes off of gravity because of just how well made the film looks. It has a clever and original storyline Terrific performances, amazing editing, some very thrilling and intense moments that have you at the edge of your seat. You really care about these characters. You really get so immersed by the visual effects and just the whole structure of the film overall. I really like Gravity. It is so good. If you haven't seen Gravity, go check it out, you guys. I highly recommend Gravity. I'm going to give Gravity three and a half out of four stars. I only had a few minor issues with Gravity, which didn't make the film perfect. I thought Sandra Bullock's character could have been developed a little more. Like, I know the movie's only 90 minutes long, but I wish we got more development from her. I thought it was a bit boring in a few moments. Like, I felt like a few scenes were dragged out just a bit, in my opinion. And the ending, while it's very plausible and very well done. I thought the film ended abruptly just a bit, but overall, Gravity, it's outstanding, and I highly recommend it. Subscribe to my channel, comment your opinion on this film, like and share this video, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!